So, you want to start a YouTube channel. Welcome to how to start a YouTube channel. I'm not gonna call this how to start a successful YouTube channel because like is my channel really successful? No. <laughs> but it's gonna be how to start a channel. I've had my channel for two and a half years, I think, around two and a half years. So I have a few tips. <laughs> for you. Okay, so the first thing I actually think this is kind of like boring because everyone pretty much has like similar answers for this But I'm gonna start with equipment because that's like how everyone starts these videos So I'm kind of like a copycat right now, but whatever <laughs> Okay, so right now for equipment, I use the Canon T5i for main channel style videos like this one. And then for my vlogs, I use the Canon G7X. I vlog on my main channel if you are new here because keeping up two channels is kind of hard. <laughs> keeping up one channel, kind of hard. So I just vlog on my main channel, honestly. Okay, so how I started, I did not start with a big camera or anything. I don't think that you need to start with a ton of equipment from the first off because when you're first starting off usually unless if you get like a viral video on like your first video you're like really lucky I did not have that happen to me I mean if that did happen then I guess people would be watching but usually there's not a lot of people watching when you like first start out so I don't think it matters too much when you're first starting out if you have one I started off with filming on like an iPod or like my old iPod because <laughs> my phone was like out of storage so I literally filmed on like an old iPod and then I would like edit it on like the iMovie App. that's how I started so honestly still even now there's like no one that watches my channel but like I want my videos to be good so right now for editing I use the iMovie laptop version I want to upgrade to Final Cut pretty soon but it's very very expensive so I don't know I'm gonna try to use my student discount though to get it so it's gonna cut off like a hundred of the price so that's pretty pretty good <laughs> and so for lighting I know that my lighting is literally so horrible right now but we're going through like a thunderstorm like I don't know every single like day of the week this week it's like predicted to have like a thunderstorm so it's literally like so dark right now I'll turn it to my window you can you see that yeah it's so dark it's only like 4 p.m but every single day it's predicted to like rain and have a thunderstorm so I didn't really want to go without a video so I had to I had to do something you know so I am using a ring light that's why the lighting is pretty bad the, it looks pretty good when I have natural light plus the ring light but right now it looks pretty bad because I'm like just with the ring light yeah all right now ah, back to the actual tips okay so my first tip is to upload as often as possible. Um, during last summer, I was able to upload every single day because I wasn't really doing anything and that helped grow my channel a lot. I want to do it this, this summer, but I'm actually taking summer classes, so I don't know if I can do it every day, but I can do like most days. So that will really help grow. Uploading consistently helps. I know so many people, this makes me so annoyed. I know so many people who are watching videos, they have such good, good videos, but they only upload like once every other month and I know if they were uploading consistently they could have hundreds of thousand followers but they don't do it it makes me so mad honestly if you are someone if someone is like very talented like a very good person and like entertaining on camera but they don't keep up with it but someone is like eh, like their, their videos are their videos are mediocre but they keep up with it and they like try hard and they like get up a video every day they will always pass the person who actually makes like good videos like I know like content over quality but like it's not that hard to upload a couple times a month like there's some people who they have such good videos they only upload like once every few months and it's so annoying it makes me crazy <laughs> because I just know they could go so far but they have no they have no ability to go hard because they're just so lazy with it <laughs> But yeah, rant is over. <laughs> that was a little bit of rant. Okay, sorry about that. It is raining now. I am so sorry from the bottom of my heart. If I could turn off the rain, I would. But it's predicted to rain for the next seven days. So, oops, this is probably gonna have the same situation if I try to film any day this week. So we're gonna have to deal with it, you know? The pop way that I would say I've seen growth on my channel is by doing a popular video. But like, honestly say something is trendy but it's not really like in your alley and you're trying to be like a funny person and not like a beauty guru but like a beauty guru video is going like viral and you know if you 
you do it, you let a lot of views. You can make a spin, like a parody, like comedy spin. Like you can do anything. Like I don't know, even if you're like singing and like a challenge, like you could somehow incorporate like music. Like if you're trying to make a music channel, you can make it anything. Doing popular content is the best way to grow your channel. I kind of <laughs> struggle with this sometimes because sometimes you know I just want to do a weird video. Like I just want to like go to the dollar store or whatever. Like that's that's a weird video. It's not gonna get any views. <laughs> but sometimes I just like I really want to do this. So I kind of like sacrifice. I kind of like screw myself up. Also, I know one of the best ways that everyone says to grow your channel is if you choose a niche. That is also a thing that I cannot do. I just love everything. I literally love anything. I cannot stick to one thing. I can't stick to just DIYs because you know some days I want to vlog. Some days I want to do something weird. <laughs> I'm a weird girl. I just do something. I cannot stick to a niche. I know that's like the one thing that everyone is like stick to a niche. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I wish I could do it. I am so indecisive. I can't make up my mind on anything. So that's I'm sorry. <laughs> I wish I could. are a big thing. Just realized I haven't posed for a thumbnail yet. But honestly, I, I know this is something that people say not to do, but I feel like it kind of works sometimes. Basically, finding, I wouldn't say copy like exact, exactly, but if someone, they did like a morning routine and they have like a similar way that you see a bunch of morning routine thumbnails looking, then I would say try to do something similar to that. Like, don't copy exactly, but I would say try to do something similar to that because that's like what works. Like, if you, even even if you look at like big movie posters, a lot of times movies literally copy almost exactly another movie poster because that is what works. I know everyone tells you like don't copy other people, but if it works, it like works, honestly. And sometimes it works for me when I try to copy someone at thumbnail, sometimes it doesn't. You know, you never know. <laughs> but if it works, it works, you know? So one way to finding a popular content that I do is say, this is how I made my aesthetic video. Okay, so I found a few people who I had seen who were around the same amount of subscribers to me and they both made videos that had to do with like aesthetics and like what are aesthetics and like types of aesthetics and stuff. How to find your aesthetic. I seen like a few people had done that that had around my subscriber and it ended up doing like one of like the best videos for their channels. I think actually the people <laughs> that I saw that like inspired me to do it, that was like both like their number one like most viewed video on their channel. So I was like, I better do it. <laughs> it got 13,000 views for me. I I think for the other people, I didn't get, it got like a lot more than that. I think like one of them, she she has like, she has like 8K I think, and it got like 100,000 views for her. So my video didn't do as good as the other's videos, but it still did better than almost every video on my channel. So it was still a good type of video to make. Okay, tag. <laughs> So I've tried two different ways of doing tags. I'm not really sure which one was the best. I'd have to do like a trial of for maybe like a month using one way of doing tags and like a month using the other way of doing tags. But I'll tell you the two ways. So the way that I used to do tags, which I'm not sure if it's better or not. Honestly, I don't know. So how I used to do tags is I would basically, I would go through the other people who made the similar video to me. So if it's like a morning routine, I would type in, in my notes, I would type in like the top 20 titles that came up with morning routine um, in my notes and that's what I would use it as my tags. You can usually use up to like 20 to 25 tags until it like says you can't use anymore. That's usually how many you can make. What I do now, <laughs> I'll show you my trick. This is my secret. So don't make it viral. So basically, I go on my phone <laughs> and there's a little app that is called an HTML viewer. So what I do is say, I do this for, I don't do this for like super bigs because if you say, say you're doing, I'm using a morning routine for every single thing. I should not use morning routines. Say you're doing a bake with me. I don't think Alicia Marie does this, but I'm gonna use Alicia Marie as an example. Say you do a bake with me, don't copy Alicia Marie's tags. Don't copy people like Alicia Marie, Nikki and Gabby, Sierra, anyone super, super big like Aspen Ovard or anything because their videos, they're gonna do good no matter what. Well, I I do to do this which honestly my videos don't get that many views anyway so like honestly like I really don't know what I'm talking about this was a, this is what like in my mind I'm like this is what makes sense so I click on the ch views I click on the channel and I see how many subscribers they have and if the views got ha more like views on their video than amount of subscribers they have and then I copy their tags because I know 
that that video did better than like the majority of your videos because most people get most people have a lot of inactive subs so their videos get a lot less views than their amount of subscribers so usually if someone has more views on the video than the amount of subscribers they have then I know that they use good tags and I'll usually copy those <laughs> that's how I pick I know it's it doesn't really work that great for me so like honestly like who am I even talking about because like my videos don't get that many views but sometimes it works I don't know <laughs> okay so this is a tip that I'd be like I don't know if you should use it or not okay so basically I used to I'm not really doing it anymore but I used to comment on like other small youtubers channels I'll show you how to find other small youtubers channels because people just like generally don't know how to like find them which I'm kind of like what so basically say I want to do a study with me okay so I type in study study with me I'm on YouTube right now <laughs> I type in study with me okay so then what I do so I click on these th you see these little can you see them is this in focus okay so you see these three little things right here so I type on those and then I go by upload date and now I choose probably about a week or like a day depending on the video so now I close it and so now almost all of these people are going to be small youtubers because if you type in regular study with me all of the search results are going to be people who are big channels because big channels and channels with good search optimization are gonna be the ones at the top so that's pretty hard to find small youtubers but that's how you do it but that is how you find small youtubers so I'd actually I don't know if I would recommend doing this I would say do this at your own risk if you want to do this because I'm not really doing this anymore because I know a guy who I guess he commented on so many small youtubers channels that they that they like counted his account as like spam and he got like terminated so I'm like kind of like even scared to comment on like any <laughs> videos anymore I've been like scared like I'm like barely commenting I mean I probably shouldn't be like that worried like I don't know he said he only commented like a hundred so I'm kind of like I like how make sure I don't like comment over like 11 on like 11 videos even like big youtubers a day because i'm like so scared now i'm probably worrying for nothing but i'm scared i'll like wake up in the middle of the like night and be like is my channel still there yeah i'm kind of crazy okay a little bit insane but it's fine okay so this is something that i just kind of learned about and i'm gonna be using it for the future i've been using it so i don't really know but basically should i show this okay we'll get out a laptop so we can show these okay so step one pull out a laptop or desktop so once you're in log in to your channel this is what mine looks like now click on creator studio <laughs> come on creator studio okay it's loading Okay, so now <laughs> you are going to go to the analytics tab. Hopefully people know what's going on because I don't. Um, so now you go to audience retention. So now you can see on your videos what percent of people stayed till the end. Is that how you do it? Yeah, what percent of people like stayed to the end? For this video, reacting to Ted Mojo's song Hefner, 85% of people stayed till the end but if I go to to last minute celebrity Halloween costumes 0.3 people stayed till the end that literally means that one person watched stay till the end so horrible <laughs> but there was actually one when I was looking out here that I had a hundred percent stayed till the end it was like a lookbook I made and I was like what the heck it was a lookbook I made like a year or two ago. I was like, what the heck? Every single person that watched this had a full view. I'm confused. Okay, so this one says reacting to hate comments got 72% of view. Pretty much all of my like reacting to hate comments get pretty much a good view of my morning routines, my reactions. Some th stuff like that gets pretty good like viewer range like most people stay till the end and like watch time is very important for YouTube So now I know for the future that I need to start making more of those types of videos to get my audience more engaged or Watching the videos I guess okay So another thing is to promote as often and as much as possible 
so the ways that I promote, every single time I upload a video, I put it on my Instagram story, my Snapchat story, I tweet it, I put it on We Heart It and Pinterest usually. I think that's pretty much all I do. Yeah. So I put it on all of those platforms. Every once in a while, I have a Musical.ly <laughs> that I promoted on. I'll show it. I only have, I've only promoted three videos. I'm going to try to like promote more on, on the weekend when I'm doing nothing because I have no social life. Um, so one way that I do it is I'll, I'll like promote this. This one got 62 views on Musical.ly. I guess it's like kind of good. This one only got 20. Oops. And let's see this one. This one got 27. I also think that putting it, putting a little Instagram video, putting like a little section, I've been doing that recently, is I'll put a little section of like some of my videos on my Instagram. And I typically see that those do tend to do better than the normal one. It's getting like that little sneak peek. So I'm going to try to keep doing that. I only did it for a couple. Oops. <laughs> yeah, but those typically get more views than my average. So I think it's working. Oh, also, one thing that I've realized. So if you hype it up before, I think it also does like better. Like if you just, once you like make the video, you know, if once you like just posted the video and say like, I just posted. I would say usually if you post about it like right before, like new video coming tonight and then in like an hour or two, then you post it. I would say that it usually gets more views. I did that a couple times. And and it seemed to do like better for me. So I would say that is another tip on how to get more views. <laughs> Still don't get that great of views though. Also, sometimes I will, I did this the other day and it did bring my views up a lot. I was had a video, it was not doing the best, doing worse than most of my videos did. So I did an Instagram live and I was like, hey, like go check out my video. And then it did end up doing better. And I think that contributed a little bit. So if your video is doing really bad, that is a way to help. Okay, say. So if you are in feeling uninspired, this is gonna be a little promo. I have two videos up that are, and they're both a hundred video ideas. They're both different too. So 200 video ideas of videos to make if you are feeling like uninspired and you have no idea what to make. I have two videos of it. Also, if you need fonts to use and thumbnails, I have a font pack, which is a video. I'm gonna put them like all around here. I have a font pack video that has a bunch of different fonts that like popular YouTubers put in their thumbnails. So that's like some font ideas and then I have so many I cannot describe to you how many music packs I have like songs to use in YouTube videos I literally have one just like dedicated to Christmas songs. So yeah, I have a ton of <laughs> Literally everything like <laughs> yeah, I have, like, I think I have one dedicated to like fall too. So another idea what am I talking about? So when I post um, an Instagram photo, a tweet, honestly like anything, I always put hashtags in it that are like hashtag small YouTuber, hashtag YouTube, hashtag YouTube videos. I know that's like very annoying, but it honestly does help people to see your stuff and it helps like other small YouTubers like see you and then you guys can be out like YouTube buddies, haha. <laughs> yeah, I would say it definitely helps to put like the hashtags. I know it's kind of like annoying to hashtag all your pictures like hashtag small YouTuber fam, but I think it helps. So going on the topic of YouTube friends. I would say YouTube friends are a good way to actually grow your channel because if you make a friend and they're also a YouTuber, you guys subscribe to each other. One more sub for each of you. <laughs> also, they'll probably watch a good amount of your videos. Probably not watch every single one of them, but they'll probably watch occasionally and leave a comment. It gets your engagement up. Honestly, you make a friend and you get your channel a little bit up. It's a win-win situation. Another good thing is if you have YouTube friends is if you collab with them because they that helps to gain. Honestly, I really don't think, because it's gonna be like an unpopular opinion. Honestly, I don't really think that collabing with other small YouTubers help grow your channels a lot. Like, I still do it, but honestly, there's like, I never gain that much from um, collabs. Like, maybe I'll gain like one or two more than like the average. I honestly don't think it helps that much. The only time that it did help someone was I made a collab video. It's my most popular video on my channel. I think it's at like a hundred. 20 something views 120 something views right now and I did make it a collab with someone and I think she gained like 50 or 60 subs but like honestly it got a hundred thousand views and she only like gained like 50 or 60 subs so that's still like pretty bad you know here is a tip that makes me so angry when people do it so I've seen a ton of people who say they're going the like niche route where is that even how you say it niche niche I don't know I used to think it was niche for a while people were like are you talking about niche like are 
very stupid but um um the niche route um do not delete all of your old videos to like make it stick to your niche because i know so many people who they'll try to like make it stick to like their niche and so like every like six months they'll go through and they'll delete all their videos and like post new ones literally having old videos up on your channel is so good and so helpful for you to grow because you don't even know it's so, like my most popular video i'm like using this as an example again it has over 120,000 views right now when i posted it um within a week it got 400 it didn't start growing big until literally this summer and it was like a christmas video it was like christmas gift idea so like people were using it like for like birthday too so like it's not like too like seasonal but literally it didn't blow up for like six months and like so many of my videos they'll say i'll post them they're like 100 views and a year from now they'll have a thousand it just they get bigger as time goes on stuff flows up after a while like randomly having your old videos is so so good especially say you have 300 videos up that's so many opportunities for people to stumble on your channel that's so many things that people could be searching onto google to find you like having a lot of videos is so 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 helpful for your channel like it's literally the most helpful thing you could probably do for your channel so do not keep deleting your videos don't keep deleting your channels don't keep starting over <laughs> keep your old videos up that's like the biggest like help like if you only have two videos up on your channel it's gonna be so much harder to grow than if you have 50 videos up on your channel like it's the hardest thing it's one of my biggest pet peeves like it's along with the people who are just lazy like you're lazy you're too lazy <laughs> Am I okay? Okay, another another thing that makes me so angry. Going on a rant. This is gonna be this is gonna be my last rant. It's gonna be my last rant. One last rant, we'll end the video. Okay. <laughs> so people, I know so many of them. They'll say like I wanna start a channel and they'll be talking about it for like years, like literally like years. Like I wanna start a channel, but like they never do it. And they'll literally buy like cameras and say, like, you know, I have the Canon T5i right now. That was one of the best cameras in 2020 like now there's better cameras so I know so many people who they'll buy a camera and they'll like say they're gonna start and then like two years later they're like I can't start now like I don't have like the good equipment but it's like you have fine equipment like start a channel just start it okay <laughs> Uh, and they'll like talk about it or people who won't start until they get equipment like but a lot of a lot of people started on phones like it's fine to oh god it's fine to start out with phones like it's perfectly fine like literally iphones film so okay <laughs> i'm just like they film okay like they have okay quality like you it's watchable like emma chamberlain hit a hundred thousand while she had while she was filming on iphone she hit a hundred thousand subscribers while she was filming on on an iPhone. You think you can't start a channel with an iPhone and Emma Chamberlain hit a hundred thousand subscribers with a fucking iPhone. With an iPhone. She had an iPhone. That's all she was filming with. She was only filming with an iPhone. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I'm good now. I'm great. I'm doing just fine. I'm doing fine. <laughs> So that is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, you should like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on my Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat. I had every single person back on Snapchat. So if you want to add me, you'll get an ad back. Ah! <laughs> also, if you enjoyed this, make sure to share with your friends because I goal of the year is to make it to 20,000 subscribers. We got a really long way to go. So <laughs> I'm not going to make it unless if you share. Like that's the bottom line. Like the only way I'm going to make it is if people share because we're not doing great <laughs> we're not doing great okay that is all i have to say so goodbye <laughs> can i make that like less cringy okay wait <laughs> so for equipment right now <laughs> so you want to start a youtube channel